Turn the floodlights off. Okay, turning off two lights. What's up everybody, Roderick here with the Olux BR30 Smart LED Light Bulbs. These aren't just ordinary light bulbs, these are smart light bulbs so you can do a lot of smart things with them. You can control them from around the world as long as you have an internet connection. You can change the colors because they're RGB and plus they have both cool and warm white temperatures. No matter what kind of vibe you're feeling, these will get the job done. With these being smart light bulbs, obviously you're able to control them with Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and even IFTTT. If you want a smart home, smart lights are a good way to start. Each light bulb uses 10 watts of power, however it's equivalent to a 100 watt incandescent light bulb at 900 lumens of brightness which is super bright of course these light bulbs are fully dimmable so you can have them really dim or really bright they go between 2700 which is going to be a really warm light all the way up to 6500k which is going to be a nice cool white basically like all the lights i have in the studio right now my personal favorite to be honest now let's take a look inside the box see what we got oh these are looking nice also inside the box we have a user guide with a qr code to download the smart life app and then right here we got the two light bulbs they're feeling very sturdy very strong looking really nice and just look at that this isn't your standard looking light bulb and that's because this is a flood light bulb so instead of your standard let me get one real quick thank you instead of your standard light bulb which shoots light in every direction this light bulb will actually flood an area right in front of it with a bunch of light which will be really good if you don't want the light shining off to the sides and in the back oh this is definitely solidly built although you probably shouldn't try to break these things i mean why would you try doesn't make sense now there's not really much to go over we got this nice aluminum base nice white bulb and then a nice plastic cover which the light will shine through and remember it's going in one direction because that's where the light's coming out science so now without further ado let's get these things some power and get them set up Once we have them connected to the power, we have to get them to start rapidly blinking into pairing mode. So what we're going to do is power cycle the lights about five times. And as you can see, they're now rapidly blinking. So now they're in pairing mode and we can get them paired up with our Smart Life app. You're going to go into your app store, get the Smart Life app, open it up. We're going to press the plus sign on the top right. Go to lighting, lighting Wi-Fi. And now we're confirming that it's rapidly blinking. You're going to make sure you're connected to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network because five gigahertz networks will not work. And now we wait for it to pair. And now that we got them paired up, we can rename it to whatever we want. I'm going to call it floodlight. And just like that, we're connected. And wow, these lights are extremely bright. 100 watts, what are you gonna do? Now once we're inside our settings, we can actually pair them up to control them together because they're in the same light fixture. We want them to go together, right? Over on the top right, we're gonna click that pencil. We're gonna go down to create group. And now we're gonna choose both floodlights. Press save. We're gonna make a name. We'll just call it floodlights. Save it. And now we can control them both together at the same time. Check this out. We can power them off. One tap. Turn them back on. Just like that. Pretty awesome, right? Now within the Smart Life app, we have a couple of different things we can do. We have white mode. We can change the brightness all the way down from one all the way up to 100%. Look at that, that's how dim it gets. Very dim, very, very bright. You can go somewhere in the middle, wherever you want. Look at that, fully dimmable. I can play around with this all day. Yeah, let's go fully bright though, why not? And we can change the color temperature all the way up to a really cold white, all the way down to a really warm white. Whoa, that is really warm. Go somewhere in the middle. Look at that, fully dimmable. Whatever shade of white you want, you got it. You know what, let's just leave it orange for now because it's something different. We also have color modes and this is where things get fun. We can do any color of the rainbow. So no matter what mood you want, we got it. So as you can see, we're starting with red. That looks really good. We can start going around the color wheel. Let's go up to yellow. That's more of an orange. Let's get some yellow. Where's the yellow at, right here? Yellow still looks a little orange. Okay, maybe there's not really a good yellow. There we go, that's yellow. And then we can get some green. We get some light blue, some dark blue. Can we get darker blue? Oh, we're going into purple territory. On the pink, wow, that's a really bright pink. We can also change the saturation. So right now it's really pink. We can go down to 0%, so it's gonna be really, really light. Anywhere in between in the middle. We can also go to any color we want, so we can do some green. And as you can see, the green isn't saturated, and then we can make it saturated. Look at that. What, what, what? I can control lights as well as control the brightness all the way down, all the way up. We can change the color. Boom, boom, boom. That's awesome, right? And then we also have scene mode and this is where things get interesting. We go in here, we have a bunch of custom settings. We have night mode, we have reading mode, we have meeting mode. I don't know if I'd use that for a meeting to be honest. We have leisure mode, maybe. We have scene one. These are usually flashing or something. 
Oh, look at that. We got some pulsing green light. That's pretty cool. Scene two. What's this one going to do? Oh, look at that. Cycling through all the different colors. That's a... Okay, maybe it's just red and blue. Okay. And then we have scene three. I think this is where I'm going to like it. There's one that I really like. Which one is it? This one looks like it's just flashing red. And then we have scene four. Yeah, this is the one I like right here. It just fades through all the different colors. looks super awesome. So if you want to have a little bit of a party, this is the light you're going to use. And other than different color modes, we have other smart settings such as scheduling. So you can schedule the lights to turn on and off at certain times. That way you can completely automate your house. And you can take it even further by using IFTTT. So when you unlock your door, when you come into the vicinity of your house, whatever you want pretty much, it'll turn on the lights for you. Turn them off when you leave. Pretty awesome. Check this out. Hey, turn the floodlights off. Okay, turning off two lights. Hey, turn the floodlights on. Okay, turning on two lights. Hey, turn the floodlights red. Okay, changing two lights to red. Hey, turn the floodlights ghost white. Sure, changing two lights to ghost white. Hey, turn the floodlights to 5% brightness. Okay, setting two lights brightness to 5%. Hey, turn the floodlights to warm white. Sure, changing two lights to warm white. Hey, max brightness on the floodlights. Sure, setting huh? two lights brightness to 100%. Pretty cool, huh? So as you can see, smart lights are extremely fun and versatile to have, and I definitely recommend you get them, especially if you want to start out a smart home. It's one of the easiest ways to get started because you can control everything with your voice. You know, get a Google Home, get an Amazon Alexa, you're good to go. If you want to pick up some of these, I'll throw the link down below in the description. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you're doing to make your house a smart home because... Guess what? It's 2020 and if you don't have a smart home by now, I'm not sure what you're doing in the stone ages, but you need to like come on over here to the digital age, all right? Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see y'all in the next one.